Hello, my friend. My name is Thornar, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin Creed Valhalla. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Thor, are you standing on the side of a mountain in the middle of the ocean? No, I say I'm not in the middle of the ocean. I'm on the shore, technically. Uh, but I am standing on the side of a mountain, and you may also be wondering, well, why? Because that is not where we left off in the previous episode. And right again, you're so smart. How'd you get so smart? Did your mama make you that way? My mama made me this smart. So you may be asking yourself that. Well, here's the answer. I am sick and tired of wearing this raven powered armor. And now I have decided that we are going to go on a side adventure and we're going to make a special episode where we track down the armor that I've been wanting since I started the game. And that is the brigandine armor. I'm going to call it the brigand armor because it's easier for me to say. The brigand armor. I'm going to put all the pieces and everything on the somewhere on the screen here. And the reason that I want this armor is because it fits my playstyle very nicely in that I get a bonus to armor and I get a bonus to damage when I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of bad guys, which I always find myself surrounded by a whole bunch of bad guys, whether I like it or not. So might as well get an armor set that uh, plays to that strength. We're also going to be tracking down a special weapon as well so today is an episode and i figured you know what i'm gonna do travel to each of the location but once i get to the specific location of a particular piece i'm going to show you how you can get it the first one that we're going to be tracking down right now is actually the pants <laughs> fitting i suppose and it's worth noting that i am only power level 77 and a lot of these places that we're going to be traveling to are a whole lot stronger for example <laughs> We are at the edge of scent. Never been here before, but it is power level 130. So hopefully I'm going to show you how you can cap get these armor pieces, even low level. So here we go. The first one is, like I said, is the, is the pants, the trousers, if you will. And it is supposed to be down here on this shore right over here. So this entire area, like I said, I think I'm pretty sure these are hostile, yes. They're all hostile. So I'm going to resist the temptation that I normally have, which is to just kill everything because they, I am assuming they are all going to be a lot more powerful than I am. So with that said though, the guards here are vigilant. Yes, they are vigilant. With that said, we do need to make our way over in here. Now I have no idea how I'm going to go about doing this. <laughs> I'll be a little honest with you, but I'm going to be as stealthy as I can, crawling like a spider monkey on the on the mountainside. Huh? But so far, so good. Okay, that marker glowing all nice and shiny and bright is where we're trying to get to. This is the first one. It's actually in that little. So we have to we have to break that right now. Obviously, this guy's in our way. I'm hoping that I can assassinate him. Even if I'm low level. We're going to find out. Ooh, it looks like I cannot. This could get interesting, but we're going to do it anyway. Maybe I can just hit him real fast. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That did not go as well as I would have liked. Okay, so... <laughs> Fortunately, I'm going to use this ability. We're just going to make a run for it. We're going to run through. All right. Now we go into here. And this should be the pants. Okay. Brigandine trousers. One down. Five more to go. That wasn't too bad. Now I just have to get out alive, which should be not too bad. I simply am going to run. Yep. We're, we're just going to we're just going to try to run. Not even going to fight these guys. Shouldn't need to. Yep, we're just going to skedaddle out of here. There we go. I should be out of the... Oh, they're shooting, they're shooting arrows at me. I am a prime target on the side of this mountainside. That's okay. Fortunately, they've got storm, uh, Stormtrooper aim. And uh, we should be okay. Very good. Once we get to this top of the mountain, I will feel 100% safe. They can barely hit me as it is. I hope if I take a hit, I don't lose my grip. <laughs> that would be really bad. Let's just do a little, let's just do a maneuvers just to be safe. 
All right. Not a problem. Okay. First piece down. We'll see you at the next location. All right. We have arrived at the second location, and this is where the chest armor is. And I realize I probably didn't show you the map location of the other one. But in case you're curious, it's where the X is right on the, you know, the very toe of scent down near the shores. That's where the pants were. So I apologize. I think I missed that one. The next one that we're going through is right here in Canterbury, right here in the middle of it, right next to this, uh, the synchronization point. We're going to be going down here. And this is where the torso piece is. So I need to get off here. Where's my little swan dive? I, am I blind? Or is it down there? Am I just missing it? May have to actually properly walk down like a peasant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, oh, no, there's a little jump down right there and I missed it. Okay. Either way. So that's where it is. It's in this little cathedral. And what am I doing? Okay. Just ignore that part. <laughs> Trained professional at work. Don't go down the stairs the way I just went down. Okay, so we're going to be going through here. Now, I haven't actually, uh, obviously, I haven't been here before, so I'm doing a little bit of this along with you. Uh, but it's, you know, it's obviously it's right there. Right here below. And again, this is still a very powerful area. However, this is a monastery, so I don't believe they will attack. Yeah, they, they seem to be mostly peaceful, which is perfectly fine with me you all continue to pray all right now we need to get down there now i see that i can break that which i guess i will go ahead and do now all right that will break that down there now i just need to actually properly get in here and that should be up here. So you basically climb up to here, back to where we were. If you look over here, you can see that there is a lock to break. We break that lock. Now we hop on over, use this little rope. Now this door should be open. If I can climb down, there we go. Now this door is open and we should be able to scoot down here. We've already broke this chandelier, which will break this down here, to which we can now find the lovely chest that I would like to get in loot and an opal as well. And then boom, that is the brigand armor. Very nice. Okay, two pieces down. It should be no problem to get out of here. Nothing should be hostile. So this one is very simple to get. You could really get at any power level. I didn't have to fight anybody to get through here. Okay, and we'll pause here and we will skip to the next armor piece. All right, so we have arrived at the second location, which is just west here of Scent. It's right here in this little encampment. And this one's a bit trickier simply because this there are hostile folks in the area and we have to kind of collect a few different things. Again, a reminder, I'm very low level. I'm half the half the amount of required level, it says, or recommended level. So I'm going to try and engage as little as possible. So in order to get this, there's the chest. That, that's easy part. But it requires two keys to open. The first one is located here, and the second is located there. So we have to essentially stealth around and try to avoid combat wherever we can. Now, I'm not very good at stealth. It is my, <laughs> I am just not good at it. There's no other way to, to say it, but I'm going to do what I can to, to avoid combat. But if I have to see, I'm already doing poorly. <laughs> if I have to fight, then I, then I will. And we'll just see how far my 70 power level compares to their 130 power level. Okay, already off to a bad start. Almost, almost, almost blew the coup there. Okay, oh, that's actually where I need to go. Okay, so I need to get in there. Can I get it from the back? That's what she said. All right. Uh, oh, looks like I might be able to if I can move this, which it looks like I cannot. But that's, maybe I can move. Can I move this? No. This look, does not look like I can. 
So, I actually need to properly... Oh, no, I have to be able to move this. Okay. How do I move that, says me, though? Okay, so he moved away. Ah, here we go. Oh, just try to get in there quick. Nice. Okay. That was actually not too bad. All right, so you just got to go quick, go around, and now I can move this uh, and escape in a little safer, safer way. Okay, one key down, one to go. The second one, of course, we saw further, further up the way. Yep, it's right over there. So where am I? So I'm there. We're going to come up here relatively, relatively pleased and quiet. Then we have to, to get the key around there. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I might as well loot the things while I'm in here, though, right? Get some rations, get some health, just in case. <laughs> just in case the stealth maneuvers fail. But at the end of the day, if I do get detected, I'm just going, I'm not really going to try to take on the entire town or anything like that. I may just run away. No shame in doing that. Okay, here we go. Got some blend in spots. If I absolutely want to blend in, I bet I could shoot that to probably cause a distraction. Uh, is that a drunk guy? Yep, that's a drunk guy there. In fact, oh, and there's a drunk guy there. Okay, so we've got some drunkards. Drunkards are useful because, of course, they can provide a distraction, which is exactly Follow me what to the cast. To Let's have him create a ruckus, say, over here. Because again, the key is right there. Okay. Great no distraction. Here after all. Okay. Right. There's one went away. Which should be enough. The other one's over there. Okay, move quick, move quick, move quick. Got it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh there's a chest right there that I could have looted as well. Oh, do I dare go back? Nope. Nope. Stay focused. Okay. Uh, in case you do this, obviously loot that chest if you're able to. It looks like you probably have enough time to loot the chest. Uh, but I am laser focused on my Let's primary you, objective. Friend. Okay. Now I have both keys. Now it's simply a matter of getting back over here, which should be relatively straightforward. So he's still looking after the drunkard. And we will go down here. Okay. And now it is in here. here. Okay. I don't know if there's... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any bad guys or anything in here. So this one should be... Yeah, this is... This is okay, this part's super easy. Once you get the locks, you can see that it's two locks. One, two. You need the keys to get it. And boom! You got the gloves. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right. So now we are off to get the remaining pieces. It should be a relatively simple matter as well to get out of this area. So we will skip ahead to where we are at at the next location. And we'll see you there. Okay. We have arrived at the next location, which is a bit of a bit of a track away. So everything that we just were doing was all in scent. Now we have returned back and we are now actually in this uh, sir, this location. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Uh, and this is where the helmet is located. Again, it's another one of these outposts. This is a 130 level, but you're probably, if you're like me, you're probably going to be doing a lot of quests around this, this level 20 area. So it's not too far of a trek to kind of come back over here. And once you are here, this is located actually in a cave, I, what do you is, see? which is my understanding. Yeah, so it's located right there, which I believe that is the entrance we're going to find out. Otherwise, there there may be some some other entrances we need to investigate. This is a, a hostile location. A lot of different treasures to be had that we're not going to try to attempt to get. But you could, obviously, if you were higher level. But I want to stay razor focused on only getting what I came for, which is the armor. And I'm not going to try and take on the world right now. I did take this guy out. Uh, he was an archer. And right as I pulled up, I accidentally aggroed him before um, I was able to, you know, start the restart the recording and everything. So I went ahead and took him out. He was actually surprisingly easy to kill, but he was an archer and I'm 
wielding two-handed axes. So uh, it's a little bit to expect. So I'm assuming... E, okay. Oh, this is a chest. Well, okay. That is not what I was after, but... Okay, so new plan. <laughs> so that's not Show the location. Instead, I thought that might have been the entrance, but it is not. So now we actually need to find where that entrance is. Okay, so I had found the location. It was actually the cave right to the left of the main entrance. And it is guarded by this guard. Uh, I was able to assassinate him. So you should be able to take him out. But yes, yeah, so that's the entrance I was. So if you go just slightly to the left here, uh, if you're assuming you're facing that entrance, you'll come into here. Now, this is the area where it's located. This is, not, of course, not the chest. Uh, but this, if you move this, you will be able to see all of the lovely goodies back behind here. And that is actually what we're after. So we should be able to loot all of this. And then there we go. That's the helmet. Now, so far, uh, in terms of combat, this was the more difficult one, simply because I did have to kill two targets. Now, I had to, but arguably, I am very, I'm not very good at the stealth aspects. I'm more, hence why I'm getting this armor in the first place. Uh, so I don't have to worry about the stealth stuff. But. Uh, I did have to kill a two two guards. Again, not very tough. Killing them in isolation isn't too bad. It's when they all group up and everything else. All right, so we will now move on to the, I believe is the final location. And that is of the uh, cloak, I believe. So then, yeah, so we will move next to that location. Okay, the fifth and final piece, the brigand cloak is located just north of where we were to to find the previous piece and is right here on the shore we have this completely inconspicuous wall with a very uh, conveniently placed boat of full of explosives <laughs> i wonder what will happen if i hit this uh, apparently nothing because i'm a bad shot uh really what, what? Let's try this again there we go there we go okay so blow that up and it reveals a secret entrance. Avoid the fire better than I'm avoiding the fire, but I am impatient. I shall just be suitor and run while I am on fire. <laughs> All right, and we will just make our way through here. Break this wall, move this rock, I assume. And oh, I can already start to see some goodies. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of a cool little headpiece right there. Oh, that's got a, well, that's got a cool little area. All right, and this should be the final chest piece. Boom! There is the brigand cape. All right, so we now have the complete set. We've got the cape. We've got the chest piece. No, I want to wear it, please. There we go. <laughs> chest piece. We have the helmet. And then we have gloves gloves and then we have the boots right all right and that is what we are after increase armor when surrounded by more than two enemies additional increase to melee damage so we take less damage because we have more armor and then of course we do more damage so i did say that we are going to hunt down for a weapon and that is actually what we are after next so i will show so I will cut to where the axe is located. Okay, and we have arrived at the final location to get the final piece that I wanted to collect today. And that is the two-handed axe, the battle spark. Now, again, the reason that I'm after this weapon is because of the bonus that you can see on your screen right now. And that is that, again, when I'm surrounded by enemies, great stuff happens right that's the entire theme that i'm going with for this entire build and this particular axe there's a few weapons that have that bonus but this axe in particular is barrel lined and that's where at my stage in the game right now i've been spending all of my points into barrel alignment me. so be my eyes this is where it is located it is in this camp which is just right out in the open and it's guarded 
<laughs> and I'm assuming it's going to require a key. So, I don't think there's any way around having to fight Big Boy here. Yep, it looks, yeah, it definitely has a key, and he has the key. So there is one, two, three guards. Now, he does have a fire barrel next to him, which I am actually going to try and take advantage of. Because, oh, and by the way, I didn't show this, sorry. This is actually the most powerful area we've gone into. It's in Lincolnshire, and it is right here in this location. Right here. Lincoln, again, I can, I'm horrible at pronouncing these words, but there it is. All right, now, I don't know if there's going to be a way to avoid combat on this one. So the idea is to try and blow that up. Now, I'm going to see if I can kind of systematically assassinate these targets. Ooh, one at a time. Uh oh, oh, he's already seeing Oh, wow, he's already detecting me. Is there a guy over there that I missed? Okay, so they're already on to me. Let's see if I can't... Yeah, I, these... Okay, they definitely are hitting hard. Let's reset. <laughs> they're already taking away half my health. Let us reset here and see if I can't approach this in a better way. If I can get these two guys by themselves, I might be able to just take get some little adrenaline. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try and kill these slingers. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Okay, and then, all right, good, good, good. All right. Run away, run away, run away, run away. All right, not too bad. We can just get them kind of one or two at a time. Again, we are only, what, what is our, what is our, we are at, yeah, 79 power level. So we're not that strong to be taking on all of these fools all at once. <laughs> Wait, where is that, where's that exploding barrel? I'd like to get in the next to that. Oh, he's throwing stuff. Okay. All right, let's see if we can't do some damage here. Yep, get rid of his armor. A little headshot there. Okay, now let's just let's just go in. Let's just go in for the kill. I stun. And then finish him off. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I wasn't I wasn't too graceful of myself. Dodge. And then boom. And boom. Okay, got him. Bit of a big boy, but not completely un not, you know, not not impossible by any means. Alright, let's quickly get the key and then quickly get the axe and then quickly get out of here all right we got what we were after okay starts off at just a very basic oh no it did get upgraded okay so this go to an upgraded level let me get away here and then we'll take a look at it okay so and i will be replacing the bones but i i i like this one um but we will be replacing it with this weapon right here that's what we've been after the battle spark increased attack when surrounded by three or more enemies goes very nice with uh this play style that we've got going and there we go so we have completed our quest to acquire all the armor we got the cloak we got the our, the torso, we got the helmet, we got the gauntlets, the boots, and the weapon. <laughs> all right, so a little bit of a shorter episode today where we're just kind of uh, hunting down all of these. In the next episode, we will definitely be continuing on with the main quest line, picking up where we left off. Leave a like if you've liked what you've seen so far, and let me know, uh, uh, subscribe, of course, if you want to see more. And leave me a comment. Do you like these shorter style videos? Kind of where I'm uh, explaining what I'm doing here. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time.